All right, we're going to finish off the evening here with a demonstration of how to calculate the present value of a stream of uneven cash flows. The uneven cash flows that we're going to be working with are shown on the left, and they are in year one, $1,000, in year two, $3,000, and in year $6,000. We're going to calculate what the present value of that stream of uneven cash flows is at two different interest rates. One is 7% and the second is 9%. To, so be, to begin with, we are going to turn our calculators on. We're going to clear our registers, clear our time value of monies, and most importantly, we're going to hit second and then CEC, which clears our work. Now we're going to hit our CF key and again hit our second and clear, all clear, and that clears our work from our cash flows. In this particular case, we have no initial outlay, so we're going to arrow down. Our first cash flow, which is CO1, is $1,000. So we're going to input $1,000. We're going to hit the Enter key right up here. Then we're going to arrow down, and it wants to know how often that, how many times that $1,000 is occurring. If we look at our sheet, it is only occurring once, so uh, one is the correct number there. We're going to arrow down. Our second cash flow is $3,000, which we're going to hit the Enter key. And again, that happens only once, so that's correct. We arrow down again to get to our cash flow 3, which is $6,000. We're going to enter that, arrow down one more time, and that happens once. That's correct. We have no cash flow 4, so we're simply going to press this NPV key, NPV, and it's asking us a question. It wants to know what interest rate we're using. We're going to input 7, again, using the integer, not as a percent or a decimal point, but just as a 7. And then we're going to hit enter. We're going to arrow down, and it tells us our NPV is zero, and it feels like maybe it hasn't worked, but in fact, we just need to hit the compute key, and there it is. It tells us that it is $8,452.68, which is great. Now, the question is, do we need to put everything back in so we can figure out what it is at 9%? And the answer is no, you do not. You simply use your arrow up key, where it asks you your interest rate again, you put a 9 and enter, and you see how that has changed to 9%. We arrow down. Now, don't forget to hit your compute key again, and there it is, 807557 is the present value of that uneven stream of cash flows if uh, you use 9%. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please text or email Sean or Lori. Thanks.